morning. This light makes me look very pink. <laughs> it is um, 7.55. I'm at the Salt Palace, just parked. So I'm going to get out of the car in a minute and I'm going to start the first unloading. I think I'm just going to take the beast up with me because I'm going to need to make two trips regardless. Ugh. I am very tired this morning, so I will need to get ready to do that. It's 7.52. I will probably... I'll, no, I'll see you guys in a little bit. I'm very tired. I'm a little scattered. Morning. Hey guys. Okay, so we're all checked in. I found the table. Um, flight issue. We don't have any chairs. <laughs> so guess who gets to stand all damn day? My legs are going to be dead by the end of the day. I will bring a chair tomorrow, but I don't know. It's going to be a thing. Okay, let's set up now. Okay, so we are all set up. The floor is going to open about an hour and a half. So let's see what today brings us. Morning, everybody it's Friday so while I get ready for the show today let's talk a little bit about yesterday because I forgot to because I got home and I was like I need food and I need sleep because it was pretty late last night so yesterday I feel was pretty good it was Thursday so there was like a while where it was slow but First days of the shows are always slow, but oh my gosh, there was a lot of foot traffic. Like, wow, there was a lot of foot traffic. I don't remember the last time I saw that many people in the vendor hall on day one of show kind of traffic. So that's good, and that's in some ways bad, but it's good. I do not know what I've made on my money yet. Because I am determined to stop counting my money while I'm at shows. Simply because I've noticed that it's not very good for my mental health when I do that. Because I'm still the artist who looks at other people and all of the people gathering around their tables and sees all the transactions they make. And I get jealous. I admit it. Because... I've never had crowds like that around my table. And it's, you know, it, it is what it is. And one thing I do observe is the tables that have crowds around them have fan art, which is something I'm trying not to do as much of. And I think I do pretty well, honestly, for not having a whole lot of fan art around. Who's on my foot? Oh, hi, Rowan. But yeah, my neighbors are great. My neighbors actually showed up for the show because last couple of shows that I've done, both at WonderCon and at, well, no, not at WonderCon, but the last um, convention I did where I was in the Artist Alley, my neighbor didn't show up until day two. And I don't understand this. You paid for that spot. That's a day out of money that you are. Why are you doing that? But no, yesterday I had both my neighbors. My neighbors are cool. That's it. My neighbors are all in, are both from out of state. So, no. I have good neighbors. If I'm out of state, it's good. There were no major things that happened yesterday. Not really, at least. I'm surprised I'm not more tired than I am. Why are you on my foot? Hi, Spicy Bean. I'm surprised you can fit under there. Whew. So, but no. Today is what I'm expecting to be a semi, I would hope to be a semi busy day. Because it is a Friday. 
the floor opens at 11, which means it should open at 10 for VIPs. So it's almost seven now. Yeah, it's like basically seven now. So I'm gonna leave the next few minutes that way I can get a parking. Cause that's really the big thing here at this show is having a parking. Lotion. When you're in a dry climate, one needs lotion. And I have discovered that taking my own food to this show has been a good thing. Because I didn't know that there was Sir, that is my foot. There's con Sir, that is my foot. I didn't know that there was construction going on at the Salt Palace. They are building and attaching a Hyatt Regency, which I know they've wanted to do for years. And I know that because I used to kind of work for the Salt Palace and the Salt Lake Visitors Bureau. But I didn't know that was going on. So when I went and ran around yesterday to get my money from the bank and then saw that coming back, I was like, oh, snap. So I don't think they're really doing food trucks like they would sometimes do over there. And I don't like leaving my booth when it's just me. I don't have a booth babe at this show. So taking my own food, it's been a good idea. Yeah, now I have my bangs are out of my way as I do my eyebrows. I don't wear foundation and I don't really wear blush. I kind of stopped doing that during the pandemic. Which we are technically still in, but. <sighs> Excuse me. <clears throat> Today, I'm going to see if I can't walk around the show floor a little bit before it opens. Um, I found a booth yesterday that I might need to drop some money on. Um... I will drop their information in here. They have like these giant D20s and one's rubber and it bounces. I really want to get it so that Rowan has a toy because he likes going after my dice when I play with them. And I, I have this fear that he's going to swallow one. So if I, I'm like, okay, if I get you a big one that you can play with that you can't swallow, it's going to be fine. That's the mentality I'm going with there. So uh, I'm going to do that. I'm gonna see if I can't take you guys along with me this morning. Uh, this will be before anything opens, so there's probably still gonna be like drapes and stuff down over things, but we'll see what happens. See you guys in a bit. the doggos look we have demon doggo isn't that cute Whoa. this is just great marketing exhibitor hall one nice thing i like this year that i didn't notice past year is the atms and the giant sign that says atm like you can't miss it but this also assumes people can read very early, hardly anyone is here yet, exhibitor-wise, the floor's not even open yet. So it's almost 8.30, we've got some people for general admission already lining up over here. And then this stretches all the way down there, and as you can see there are plenty of ATMs, so nobody here has any excuse. <laughs> Morning, everyone. It's day three. I just got here. I'm very tired. I, I think I'm just gonna sleep tomorrow. Um, 
yesterday was really slow to start with. Like I was surprised. I thought yesterday would be a little busier, but it was pretty slow. Um, and not nearly, well you guys have seen the footage by now, there wasn't nearly as much foot traffic as there was on Thursday. I don't remember the last time I've been to a show where day one, which in this case was a Thursday, was that busy. Like, holy shit. Um, anyways, it's day three. It's Saturday. I'm hoping we're gonna get some good sales in. I am not 100% sure where I am on money. I think that I'm close to table, but I don't know. And I've also come to the decision that I'm gonna have to get back into fan art, even though I didn't want to. I wanted to kind of get out of it, but that's what people come to get. So I'm gonna have to jump back into that and figure out how exactly to do that without getting in more trouble with Etsy. Or it might just be stuff that ends up on Store Envy in my Squarespace. So there's that. Yeah. Anyways, I gotta set up the table, get my little spot back here already, so I'll see you guys in a bit. Hello everybody, um, it is Sunday. I apologize for the strange lighting. Um, Rowan's very happy I'm home and wants attention. Ow! Hey, no biting. If you hear a little jingle jingle in the background, I'm playing with Rowan because he's very happy that I'm home now. So let's wrap up Fanex, shall we? So, um, it was a good show. I didn't make as much as I wanted to, um, and I am resigned to the fact that I'm going to have to get back on the fan art bandwagon in order to do that. I was hoping to avoid it, but it's now obvious that I'm not going to have an option if I want to make some money because fan art sells, because people see a character they already have a connection to, and they're like, I want it. <sighs> so this morning while I was enjoying my coffee... I made a list of some things I'm going to do. Now, I, I am going to say this for the fan art stuff. I will not be selling the fan art on Etsy just because I've already been hit with two strikes. And if there's a third one, my shop's going to close. And I can't really bother to deal with that kind of anxiety right now. So it would be it will be on the Store Envy and on the Squarespace because I know it can be put on there. Whew. I need to order some more um, business cards, so that's nice. And there are some things that I know I need to make just for my table in general now. So there's that. Um, I think I can get all this done by LA. That's how Roman feels. Oh, and that's how you feel, sweetie. You want to come, do you want to come say hi? Say hi. Say hello. 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 Okay. Hello. There we go. Now he's settled for half a second. So, yeah, got stuff to do. The show was good. It was interesting to be back at a local show. And I didn't realize that Famax had gotten as big as it did. Yeah, I'm going to do my best to get back there next year. Because even though I didn't do as well as I wanted to, the show was still fun. The show was still fun. <sighs> so, yeah. We will end the vlog here. Thank you, everyone, for coming out for saying hi, for supporting local, and I'll see you guys all at the next vlog, and I'll see you at Los Angeles. Bye. Do you want to say bye-bye, Rowan? Do you say bye-bye?